Hey guys, we are back in business. We are out in the woodlands, first removal of 2019. Been a few months, but we're gonna get after this one. They're up here, classic soffit job. I've scampered up in the attic. I don't see them, I can hear them up in the attic. You can actually get up here in the attic right above this porch roof, um, but can't see them. There was one came out through a crack and was flying around. So ideally, we pull this soffit down and um, they'll be right there. The homeowner says he just noticed them about a month ago and he said when he did, he saw a lot more activity outside the house. So you look right now, you can see them flying in and out, but you don't really see a clump of them. Um, so with any luck, uh, they just showed up about a month ago and they won't have too much of a mess up there, but they are very, very busy. So we've got everything set up. We're gonna get up there and start tearing stuff down and see how it goes. Well, this one was a surprise. I fully expect them to be up there in the soffit, but they decided to build down here inside the wall. Kind of odd looking combs. They look like they've been here since late fall, maybe. All I'm seeing is drone brood there. I don't see any worker brood. See a little bit of pollen. I don't see any honey. I don't see any worker brood. Now, er this early in the spring, it doesn't surprise me to not see honey necessarily. But like I said, I'm, I'm just a little concerned only seeing drone brood like this. Um, it may be a queenless situation, or there may be another sheet of comb behind it there, actually. Yeah, that's a hollow column. We'll just have to see. It might be. It might go quite a bit deeper than I realized. But uh, we're going to start <clears throat> skinning away on it here, but they're not actually up in the soffit like I thought they'd be. So we just went down, cut in the mortar, brick by brick. I think I broke two, maybe, but preserved most of them. And I didn't have to get into the archway, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, we're up nice and high. Luckily, the client had a nice long ladder because I don't think my ladder would have been about maxed out here. Um, I might have been able to do it. But anyway, let's get some cut out here and uh, see what we got. So I've got that first scrap of empty comb off the front there. And you can see, yeah, this is all brood comb. Um, all, all, sorry, all drone brood. There's some pollen over here. Whoa, that's hot. Oh, there's pollen right there, there it is. Um, there's some more eggs in there, some drone larva, but we can see there's another sheet of comb back here behind. It still looks like drone brood, but I think when we, when we take this sheet off, I think we're gonna find a good thick patch of worker brood behind it. There's big globs of bees all hung down in here. I anticipate our queen is in there somewhere. The bees keep wanting to run up here on this corner, but that's because that's where their entrance was. I think they're going in behind the brick, and then I think they're running down behind the brick and coming back down onto the combs. I don't think they're moving up just yet. Um, but I am hesitant to use um, Be Quick because just one little spritz of that will get them going bonkers. So I'm not worried about them hiding up in the brickwork just yet. I'm going to keep working down here, down low, looking for the queen. Um, and hopefully if I can find her, then I can bait the rest of them. Then I'll go ahead and spray Be Quick up there. I don't think there's any combs or anything up there. I think, like I said, I think they're just going up there right now to confuse them. Oh well. Wish I could give you guys better news, but I think the bees won this one. Or at least the queen did. Got the bees out. I'm look up there and see where they were. Yeah. See the structure of that column. There's some big like four by four posts, or I guess they're six by six or two by six, that made just the interior of that column hollowed out a little bit. You can see over here on the left. That narrow gap between the structure and the brickwork that's normally what you have and the bees wouldn't build in it but inside of here there was some i don't know if it's fireboard or what it was but it had basically broken and fell out and then there was some plastic stapled over it so the bees just found their way through that and then found a nice big hollow column to hide out in but yeah surprisingly enough they were not up in the up in the soffit like i expected but anyway they're out of there we sprayed the whole area down with repellent really well and the homeowners asked us to leave the ladder up because he's going to have a brick mason come and close it all back up. So that's it for this one. We, we cut and vacuumed and went slow and careful. And I kept thinking I'd see a clump of bees and I was thinking that'd be the queen, but never did find her. They started robbing uh, really bad too right at the end, which was interesting just because springtime, there's lots of food. Normally robbing is not really an issue. I don't know if they're robbing themselves or if it was unique robbers from somewhere else but it got pretty pretty hairy at the end so we tried to hurry and wrap it up and close it up and anyway oh i did go up in the attic no sign of them in the attic whatsoever so that's great uh yeah 
So we're packed up and we're going to head out of here and see if we can't go find us some dinner.